okay last topic is volumes of reservoirs volumes of reservoirs how to calculate the volumes of reservoir so is it different up is it different type from others no no nothing is a same top if reservoir is in regular shape you can easily calculate it sir how what is the reservoir to reserve water so what is the volume of your water tank how can you calculate water tank the circular area multiply with height okay water tank water tank or well some well is there how can you calculate it it's very simple 2 pi r is the circular area and what is the height what is the height so that's it multiply with height you can easily calculate it if it is a regular interval water tank well now is it is it simple or canals canals is not reservoir it's a flowing water so okay so what are the other other things in storage of reservoir storage of water and what are the other ways to storage of water nothing so next is dams dams or ponds or ponds reservoirs reservoir and those are the things the next is the reservoirs reservoir for water reserved for water okay so how to calculate those volumes so before going to the topic we will just do one small very small problem very small problem which is very easy see and an excavation is to be made for a reservoir of 20 meters long and 12 meters side at the bottom having the side of the excavation slope at two horizontal to one vertical calculate the volume of excavation if the depth is 4 meters okay see it is now i think you already most popularly godavari districts are well known so previous government i think they gave permission but not permission they facilitate the farmers to dig a, to dig some some structure in their fields to store water to store water later it will be used for summer occasion i think i don't know i think so many knowns i think meeku gurtunna untadi so prati polam lo kuda meeku pedda tavu tavvi dani meeda oka black cover esukuntaru gurtunna meeda kinda oka black cover black covers kuda subsidy la icharu mee polam lo undochu na telisi black cover so black cover esthe em avutund ante meeku evaporation undadu antena evaporation undadu so రైని సీజన్స్ లో వాటర్ దాన్ని నిండా స్టోర్ చేసి కింద గ్రౌండ్ లో నుంచి దాన్ని ఏమంటారు సో సో సైడ్స్ గ్రౌండ్ అంతా నీకు కాంక్రీట్ వేసుకుంటే ఓకే కాంక్రీట్ లేకపోతే నీకు ఆ బ్లాక్ కవర్తో కప్పేసి ఓకే సో మీకు గుర్తుందో లేదో ఇలా మీ పొలంలో తవ్వుంటారు ఇలా తవ్వి అంతేనా ఐ థింక్ వాటర్ తవ్వి ఏం చేశారప్ప బ్లాక్ కవర్ వేసుకున్నారా లేదాప్ప 
பிளாக் கவர் பிளாக் கவரில் பிளாக் கவர் இல்லை வேசி வாட்டர் ஸ்டோர் చేసుకొని పైన కూడా బ్లాక్ కవర్ కప్ పెట్టి ఉంటారు మీ పొలం లాస్ట్ గవర్నమెంట్ లో అందరూ చాలా ఊర్లలో చూసాను అనుకుంటా సో తర్వాత ఏం చేస్తారు అది ఏంటంటే ఆపరేషన్ ఉండదు అండ్ ఆల్సో ఇప్పుడు కింద ఈ బ్లాక్ కవర్ ఎందుకు సార్ అనొచ్చు ఇన్ఫిల్ట్రేషన్ ఇన్ఫిల్ట్రేషన్ సో ఇన్ఫిల్ట్రేషన్ లేకుండా సో కింద కాంక్రీట్ కవర్ అయితే ఓకే బట్ కింద కాంక్రీట్ కవర్ కాకుండా ఓన్లీ నువ్వు గ్రౌండ్ సర్ఫేస్ మీద డిక్ చేస్తుంటే కింద కూడా కవర్ వేసుకుంటావు బ్లాక్ కవర్ మీకు ఐడియా ఉందో లేదో సో మీకు గూగుల్లో చూపిద్దామా అంటే నాకు ఏం గుర్తురావట్లేదు పాండ్స్ విత్ఔట్ ఇన్ఫిల్ట్రేషన్ అండ్ ఆపరేషన్ ఇమేజెస్ నో ఐ థింక్ I didn't remember those name with black cover I think okay with black sheet using to control in your operation in ponds so these are the block metals no i think on ap i think see these are the black covers are understood where it is something i think on ap on ap can it be so see this see this these are the block ball, balls types but this is not but ap i think you have observed it so see this these are the black covers i think you all know so many fields in another this this is a sheet like sheet it na it is a sheet black sheet these are the metal bodies for the large covering large covering but in our field very small ponds i think <coughs> see how to stop i think you know those how to see these are the shapes okay ponds digging not a pond it's a small pit i think small pit okay so no need no need so like this so if some farmer digging an excavation is to be made for a reservoir of 20 meter long 12 meter side at the bottom okay so at the bottom what is the side see it is at the bottom is at the bottom is 20 meter side and 12 meter side 20 meter long and 12 meters okay so maybe this is 12 mm it's a 12 mm it's a ground surface later he digging like how to it's a bottom so having the sides of excavation slope at 2 meters horizontal 1 meter vertical so he gave like something mm, otherwise uh, so it's sloping just to maintain a slope see it is see it in a what it's not a horizontal it's a ground so he maintain a slope it's a at bottom 20 meters and 12 meters so he maintain a slope of two vertical see two horizontal one vertical then what is the width and length of the reservoir at the ground ground surface what is that ground surface length up what is the value so see it is see if it is see it is a 12 it is a 12 it is increasing so okay i will once again write it it is a 12 
it is a 12 it is a 12 the slope is 2 horizontal 1 vertical so what is this value what is this well total height is how much white is height is 4 meters so the depth is this is a 4 meters this is a 4 meters this is a 4 meters na? so if it is a 4 meters how much how much it is for one vertical two horizontal so it is 8 and it is 8 are understood it is 8 so I didn't exactly draw for the dimensions okay say it is two horizontal for one vertical vertical is four meters four meter side how much increase eight meters increase it is also eight meters increase. total is this is 12 meters total is 20 so that's it this is a 20 meters are understood at the ground level it's a 20 meters same thing it is a 20 how much it is 20 so height is same four meters height is four meters for four is eight eight so what is it 36 meters no? so it is 20 it's a 36 understood so at this is the bottom it is the bottom it is the bottom okay so it is the top it is the top are understood it is the top it is the top surface see it is okay so how to calculate the value sir it is very easy sir what is it it's just a not a exactly a cylindrical shape or not an exactly mm -hmm. but it's a changing surface area is changing how to calculate the volume how to calculate so very simple very simple see it is bottom area is what bottom area is what bottom area is what so 20 into 12 it's a 12 240 meter square okay so top area is what top area is what 36 into 20 720 meter square area area so you just do it like something uh, something what is height what is height 4 meters 4 meters if you want to find out the total volume total volume just take any average average height average area this is the average method so mid ordinate method na? mid ordinate or average average method so average method means what 240 plus 720 divided by 2 that is average multiply with 4 how can you calculate what is the value 240 plus 720 answer divided by 2 answer into 4 it's so 920 1920 meter cube that is the average method if you take an average method this will come sir i don't want to find out the average method somewhat approximate somewhat better approximate better approximate method go to go to so what go to go to trapezoid method trapezoidal method so what is trapezoidal method so one two three so we have to find out the mid ordinate method mid mid area so i want to calculate mid i will take a mid mid area mid surface not a top but bottom i will took mid area mid area means at the height of 2 meters this is the height no it's a 2 meters height at the height of the 2 meters 2 meters heights so what is the width and breadth so you can easily calculate it huh? because its the height is 4 meters these are the 8 and 8 it's a 12 plus 8 20 so if it is exactly mid mid means same thing this is the mid that's it huh? this is the mid so mid means 2 meters for 2 meters it's a 4 it's a 4 so what is it 12 plus 4 plus 4 8 12 plus 4 okay see it is sorry so at the top is 12 8 20 28 28 na? 12 8 8 28 i understood 28 yeah not 20 okay 
so 28 so 28 okay 36 into 28 so 1008 okay this is a thousand thousand not eight thousand not eight so what is that error thousand not eight thousand not eight plus two forty divided by two multiply with four so two four nine six meter square okay so this is twenty eight okay not twenty not 20 so 12 8 and 8 okay 28 so if you see at this middle at the middle portion see how much it is 12 2 horizontal one vertical same slope so for 2 meter side it's all it's a 4 it's a 4 what will come what will come 12 plus 8 it's a 20 it's now it's a 20 it's a 12 it's a 20 it's 28 okay same thing for this for this it's a 20 bottom so previously 20 same 8 8 36 na? so that is 36 now <coughs> now 20 now height is 22 meters so automatically it will come 4 4 so it's a 28 it's a 28 meters that's it previous so if you find out if you know first area second area third area like this if you see this first area second area third area like this like this understood so it is area these are the areas and then that's it now so say it is <coughs> by trapezoidal method by trapezoidal method how can you calculate it? how can you calculate it so first area is first area is 240 so it's a bottom 240 so top 180 mid means mid want mid what so 28 and 20 so mid means 28 to t so 56 560 so if you know the three values so how can you find out so how can you find out trapezoidal formula h by 2 h by 2 not h by 2 h h h <coughs> so trapezoidal so a1 plus a n by 2 plus a 2 something that's it na? that is the trapezoidal that is the trapezoidal formula na? that's it so see it is a1 is what take it nothing 240 1008 divided by 2 what is 860 h is what is the value of h h is 2 h is 2 because we take a segment of 2 meters 2 meters taken so what is that value what is that value 240 plus 1008 answer divided by 2 answer plus 560 so 1000 now it's a 2 it's a 2 meters it's a 4 meters we will take <coughs> a1 a2 a3 answer multiply with 2 so 2 3 so so h by 2 no it's a h 4 it's 2 3 6 8 meter square 2 3 6 8 meter square sir how how it is how it is h or h by 2 h h na? so it's not a h by 2 it's a h it means it's a 2 meters okay are understood area into h and then that's it now so where is where is set nodes ordinates no need of simpson rule no need of simpson rule by trapezoidal rule so the d not a d by 2 not d by 2 it's a d okay 
d ordinates okay sorry where it is our topic that's it say not d h okay h is 2 2 meters 2 3 that's it so otherwise otherwise in simpson rule simpson rule what is the simpson rule simpson rule is what <coughs> simpson rule is what h by 3 h by 3 so a1 a1 plus an 4a2 that's it na? so 2a3 like this but we don't have so we don't we have just these three values only three na? so see it is 2 by 3 a1 is what 240 1008 4 560 what is that value what is that value so this value is 2325 meter square meter cube not a meter square it's a meter cube it's a volume volume so that's it so these are the different different methods you can calculate it by with if these are the regular shapes these are the regular shape not an irregular shape if it is a regular shape you can calculate it by average method mid-handed method trapezoidal rule simpson rule if see it is so by average method you got 2496 by trapezoidal method you got 2368 by simpson rule 2325 which one is correct most probably simpson rule will correct and also if you take it simpson rule is not also accurate it will increase accuracy that's it only but it's not an exact value it's not an exact accurate value exact value what is the difference between accurate and exact <laughs> so do it learn it okay so simpson rule is also not an exact value it's the accuracy it's increasing accuracy so it's not a 24 it's only 2496 2496 2368 2325 which one is correct this is increase in the accuracy accuracy is increasing so this value is most probably approximately approximately equal almost equal so we take in a curvature nature so water also has a curvature okay some taken like this okay no problem so this is the most probably most probable chance okay that's it this is the way to calculate the reservoirs has regular shapes so so many pits i think pits in a farmer lands are digging wells to storage their water these are all most probably most probably is a regular shape you can easily calculate it like this you can easily collect it but if it is irregular shape irregular shape how to calculate so where are the irregular shape so reservoir so mostly dams dams reservoirs okay our ponds lakes these are all irregular shape now because if you see irregular shape means lake has bottom it's like this Are understood so water has this section this section maybe this section is like so okay this section has some width so how can you find out how can you find out how can you find out the total volume of water in the stored in the reservoir so most probably most probably to find out to find out the shape what is the shape in the reservoir bottom so we don't know we don't know these shapes if you know the shapes how can you know so by the lasers by the lasers remote sensing using you can draw contours you can draw contours contours means see it is contours ground surface inside of the reservoir body ground surface if you know if you see this uh, news channels they said that some dam is so so much of so mud is there in the dam so pudik antar kada pa so chala dam lo chala wastage padipoyindi dan pudiki chala undi tiyali antaru pudik undani ela telustadi how can you know by the remote sensing by the remote sensing equipments you can 
find out how much depth previously maybe at the some location previously if some see this is the location previously they got it some 10 meters height so something now it is 5 meters second that means what Pudik cherry so in the bottom logo maybe is another pudding which is maybe let ground surface ground surface which is so automatic layout reservoir capacity equipment but pudding which is another sir by the remote sensing by the remote sensing equipments we can care we can feel that some of the land is formed not a water body it's a land is formed some uh, dust dust or waste is stored at the location so automatically we can feel that reservoir capacity will reduce okay no problem that's the latest part but first find out the ground surface how it is the ground surface is there how ground surface is there see so based on that we can draw contours we can draw contours na? so we can draw contours so if you once you draw contours once you draw contours you can easily find out the you can easily find out the volume sir once we draw the contours how can you find out the how can we find out the volume how can we find out the volume wait draw contour levels levels of the ground contour means what levels of the ground i think you have a better idea on contours okay so if you something irregular shape something irregular shape is there so okay irregular shape is there so contours is let's say taken 100 101 102 103 if the contour level this is the level this is rl this is rl i think you know it rl this is rl rl of the ground surface so rl of the ground surface is decreasing towards the center decreasing towards the center that means what that means it is a pond so okay if you see if you want to draw a pond say take a, same thing take a, take a curve so <coughs> so take a curve Otherwise, draw levels, draw levels of 103, 102, 101, 100. Just join. This is 103, na? This is 103. This is a level. 102. Maybe take it. 102. Maybe take it. 102. So this is one not one. This is one red. This is hundred. You draw like this. Just, just draw it. Just joining these locations. Maybe it will goes like this. See, it is a pond or lake. Are understood? <coughs> so first find out the find out the contour levels. Contour levels of the ground contour levels of the ground which is occupying total this is maybe if it is a something this is a total of reservoir something you just drawn contours contours of some levels so if you're going okay so because if you see it is going down it's a almost at the center mostly deep and most deep and then so most probably it is a almost it's a touching the ground surface it's a edges going on bottom it's almost water it's a storage of water, I think. So mostly it's a storage of water. Water storage is there, na? It is a storage of water is there. Okay. First, we have to find out the ground surface. Ground surface contour levels. So by the laser, by the remote sensing equipments, we have to draw what is the one not three level. Where is the one not three level? Where is the one not two level? Where is one not one level? So based on that, you can draw contour levels. Once you got, so we already know. Contour levels, it is a contour interval. It's a contour interval. Na? It is a one meter. It is a one meter. It is a one meter. Contour interval. It's a one meter, one meter, one meter. Going down. Are understood? It's a one meter. It's a one meter or one meter. Or if you take a contour interval, is 
your choice your your choice some h meters counter interval is h meters some that is your choices based on the location of the field okay maybe it is a steep or very slightly steep that's why you, you choose the contour interval okay so it is a h interval so if you see it is if you see it is first if you know the area of this area of this plane if you know this area of this plane if you know this area of the plane so that means this is the area this is area one okay this is the area one this is area two this is area three area four c three dimensional okay so total top surface area if you know the top surface area later if you know this area if you know this area later if you know this area sir how can you know we will see if you know the area if you know the area so what is the total volume same thing na? what we solve this same thing it is if you know the top layer area are understood so if you know the bottom area if you know the mid area how can you find out the volume of water body same thing is it so trapezoidal formula or simpson formula or this is a prismoidal formula prismoidal formula okay prismoidal formula okay so same thing if you know if you know the contour level if you know the contour level and if you know that area if you know that area so you can easily find out the area if you you can find out the volume volume how can you find out volume is same thing same thing h by 3 this is the contour interval so interval h by 3 so a1 plus a n 4 a2 4 a4 like this 2 a3 2a5 like this and then this is simpson formula otherwise using trapezoidal formula mostly we want a accuracy we want more accuracy we will use prismatical formula or simpson formula okay so sir that is my doubt so how can you find out the area of this irregular shape this is at mostly irregular shape no? so because the levels are not exactly because it is underneath the body and also if you see not only this not only this if you same thing this is this is this is these are the contours if you see it is it is i said what is it is a hundred okay it is a hundred it is a 99 it is a 98 if it is 97 like this what is that body what is that body same thing same thing it is a hundred it is a 99 it is a 98 it is 97 just take it <coughs> what is 100 this is 100 this is a 99 this is somewhere this is 98 this is 90 something so it is if you join those you will get maybe this will come like this if you see if the if the rl rl of the line rl of the line corel of the contour line is increasing or if it increasing towards towards the center it will give it will give hill or terrain okay so topography hills are understood so same thing what is the volume what is the volume of this hill what is the total mass not a mass total area not only total area so if you want something dig or if you want to remove that small part if you want to remove that part okay so total how much of earthwork we have to done means what so first we know total volume are understood total volume of that hill I understood total volume of the hill. the same capacity so not only not only pond or lake if you want to find out the volume of the hill also same thing by the contours so because if you see hill has no irregular no irregular lines hill surface is not irregular shape so that's why we have to find out this so this level is one not maybe one or two this is 100 so this is a 99 this is 98 this is 97 maybe somewhere something okay so this is a line 
this is the line okay arranged so we take contour interval so maybe this is also one meter one meter one meter otherwise choose your contour interval based on that we just find out the contour lines contour line of that shape once you find out the contour lines of the shape so you can easily find out the total volume based on the simpson rule or trapezoidal rule but our final question is what how can you find out the area how can you find out this small area this is a this is area this is a area no? irregular shape so how can you find out how can you find out this top area top okay how can you find out the stop area that is the question so without with this much of irregularity in shape with this much of irregularity in shape you can find out the area you can find out the area with planimeter only planimeter so what is the planimeter we already know we discussed planimeter once you draw contour lines once you draw contour lines once you draw contour lines something like this this irregular shape area you can use you can find out by the planimeter so okay planimeter what is the planimeter we already discussed no need of one thing anything i think we discussed planimeter okay cut tracer so pantograph one sec this is a planimeter so you can find out so if you draw a contour line and you draw that in the as it is in the your table or your graph sheet or on a white paper then with using the planimeter with using the planimeter you can calculate that area are understood so once you calculate that areas level surfaces top level bottom level bottom level or bottom to top once you calculate the irregular shape areas with is using the planimeter once you know areas you can easily find out the volume with respect to prismatic formula or trapezoidal formula okay we discussed planimeters okay so this is a formula and we shown so many two three videos how to calculate it okay we discuss this planimeter so that's it so that's the thing that's the thing nothing more than this once you find out the areas of the surfaces these surfaces these surfaces okay this is the surfaces once you find out the areas of the surfaces when using the these are the intervals these are the contour lines and with some small interval you know the con areas of those contour lines not in areas the contour area inside of that contour line area inside of that contour lines then we can easily find out the volume that's the thing nothing more than this okay so that for so much of irregular shape we can't find out by using mathematical equations you can't find out the equation of those lines you can't find if it is a some small line you can find out so x is equal to y this is the equation of line okay you can easily find out the area inside of that line but you can't find out equations for every irregular shape you can't find it so definitely we have to using finite elements very 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 finite elements so that is not in your cup of tea later so pre later by stages you can see it so you can easily calculate it by planimeter okay that's it that's the story so now we will solve one problem now we will solve one problem that's the end of the story okay that's the end of the story of areas and volumes so there is no problem at all this is see it is just the areas within the contour within the contour line within the contour line at the site of reservoir and the face face of the proposed dam are as follows as follows so it is contour line area so contour is taken 101 101 contour rl these are the rls what is that means 101 102 means what those are the rls no? 
he said that 101 area is 1000 meter so 102 is 12800 103 95200 104 1 you think you can observe if you see <coughs> the RL is increasing RL is increasing see this is 103 this is 104 RL is increasing RL is increasing see this is 104 this is a 104 maybe 103 so RL is increasing the surface area may be increasing na? in a surface area is increasing in a lake or a dam or see this is a 103 103 means it's a top area compulsory it will it has a more surface area compare with 100 compare with 101 compare with 102 so the areas are increasing are understood but the same thing if you are seeing a if you see in a hill or topographic taken the r the surface area at the top rl is his it gives very small every sum small very small in a hilly area that is you can easily observe those are the contour chapters and no need but you can see see it is 101 102 103 it will increase on the r okay so that means it's a dam i will just change it is not a dam i just change it is a hill it is not the exact readings it is a false reading okay it's a dam readings you can observe it without knowing the dam without without giving the dam you can easily say that these are the readings for these are the readings for a dam or lake are understood are understood that's it that is the observation by observation you can say that these are the readings for a lake or dam or reservoir not a hill so okay you can easily check it check with me you can easily check it because the rural rl is increasing towards the top of the hill <laughs> top of the hill okay rl is decreasing towards the center of the lake are understood because it's going it's going downwards okay that's it once you know once you know once you know the areas so how can you find out the how can you find out the volume nothing more than what is the contour interval so contour interval is one meter maybe if i miss this line one or two one or four 107 i gave directly only 101 103 105 sorry so let's strike it 107 109 i gave it so counter interval is two meters are understood what are the counter intervals so what is the definition of the counter intervals and what is the counter gradient what is that meaning counter interval and what is the counter gradient those are all contour chapters i know it okay you know it so these are the contour interval so okay not a gradient so that's it this contour interval is two meters okay that's it volume first i will find out by trapezoidal formula so what is trapezoidal formula h area one and area last area one area last plus two of remaining two of remaining what is two sorry sorry so this is h this is two okay that is two <coughs> otherwise like you can write h by two a1 plus a2 Two of this time and then I'll ask another so anything anything you can write it anything you can write it so what is the volume what is the volume h is one one meters so just place it place it those values you will get you will get it eight three 
600 meter cube that is the volume that is the volume okay so otherwise if you use a prismatic if you use a prismatic formula it is a trapezoidal trapezoidal formula so i no need to place a1 what is a1 what is a2 because we discussed from last five classes and you are not elementary school <laughs> children okay placing a1 a2 and i calculated it okay no need so what is the prismatic formula so prismatic formula is h by 3 a1 plus an plus 4 of a2 k4 like this 2 of a3 a5 like this okay just place it just place it same h is 1 meters continental is 1 meter so what is that value 7 8 0 8 0 0 0 meter cube so that is we will get so which one is accurate so simpson rule is accurate this is a prismoidal rule prismoidal rule or simpson rule both same so, okay this is accurate this is accurate compare with trapezoidal compare with trapezoidal simpson rule is accurate are understood that's it that's why that's that's the way to calculate the volume of reservoirs using the contour lines and how to calculate the contour surface area by planimeter so without planimeter you can't otherwise something another equipment or something basically if you draw the if you just enter that contour to the graph sheet you can find out by some algorithm something you can easily find out by algorithms not a planimeter it's a planimeter equipment otherwise you can draw that on a plan sheet that is that is on a graph sheet so based on that graph sheets maybe some algorithms you can produce it and find out that irregular shape area okay maybe may possible chances so okay that's it you find out the areas of the contour intervals contour surfaces contour surface areas okay then easily find out the volume of the reservoirs or volume of the hill volume of the total hill maybe you have to you have to so remove that hill so what is the total volume and how much of the earthwork we have to done or how much of volume of the soil we collected to transport that soil also we have to do contracts we can we can procure we can call for contracts how much of earthwork so he removed from one location to another location so first we have to find out the volume of that water total hill so that is also need so we have to calculate the volume of the hill before to call out the tenders anywhere so anywhere before we call out the tenders or procurement of equipment or submit on proposals we have to find out the areas volumes total earth work we done so how many trucks of how many trucks of soil is exporting from one location to another location okay so i think you know the soil you know the soil eh? soil just first unit is over i think so some of the soil is there some soil is there some soil is there so to dig to dig soil otherwise okay to dig soil from the location soil so dig the soil and this how much is volume you can easily find out the volume of something thousand meter cube of solid but it has a wide ratio is different wide ratio is different water contents is different but once you dig out once you dig and you just pour it something on a truck the wide ratio is different if wide ratio is changing if wide ratio is changing volume is different I understand wide ratio is changing because if you just dig out it will give it enters wides then what happened so volume is changing because if you see if you see this is the volume of soil these are the whoppers these are the whopper or whites which aim dig it dig it so what will happen whites are increasing same amount of soil is there but volume whites are increasing then volume automatically increasing so what is the wide ratio what is the water content if you dig it out some of the water content may be evaporated so 
so to transport this much of volume to another location to another location how many trucks is required so we have to pay the money based on how many trucks he drives so how many trucks for each truck for each truck has something 5 meter cube of capacity okay how much it is a thousand sir it is five sir you can easily calculate it no because the wide ratio is changing because we just alter the alter alter the position and shape of the soil so wide ratio is altered because see me jodni ipudana chettu kada path devutaru chettu untade path devudam ani devutaru cheyi betti tovi anta pakkane estaru pakkane esi chettu betti aa tarvata malla soil anta estaru chiste inta mundu unnana kanna levarkane ekku vastadi vastade ekku vastadi enduku vastadi ante nu anta dari compress ayyandi ee ఆ లొకేషన్లో ఆల్రెడీ కంప్రెస్ అయిపోయింది గట్టిగా కంప్రెస్ చేస్తుంటారు వాయిడ్స్ తగ్గించి అంటే ఎక్కువసార్లు దాని మీద మనుషులు తిరిగి వై తిరిగి కంప్రెస్ అయింటారు నువ్వు దాన్ని హ్యాండ్తోనో ఇంకో దాంతో తీస్తే ఏమవుతుంది అంటే ఆటోమేటిక్ అది ఫ్రీ అవుతుంది వాయిడ్స్ ఎక్కువ అవుతాయి వాయిడ్స్ ఎక్కువ అవుతాయి సో ఆటోమేటిక్లీ వాల్యూమ్ చేంజ్ అవుతుంది బట్ సాయిల్ సాయిల్ ఉంటుంది కదా సాయిల్ అంతే సాయిల్ అదే ఉంటుంది సాయిల్లో మీకు దాన్ని అంటారు సో బేసిక్ సాయిల్ కంటెంట్ అంతే ఉంటుంది కానీ నీకు వాయిడ్స్ ఎక్కువ అవుతాయి వాల్యూమ్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అవుతుంది సో అందుకోసం ఒక సాయిల్ మెకానిక్స్ ఇట్లాంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ చాలా చేస్తుంటారు మీరు ఈ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ మీరు చాలా చేస్తుంటారు చేయకపోతే చేసుకోండి ఇవి చాలా బేసిక్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఇన్ సాయిల్ మెకానిక్స్ ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్లో ఈ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ చాలా చేస్తారు బట్ ఓకే మన టాపిక్ అయిపోయింది